Go ahead. Yeah, if you so can find somebody that no wants ick, to do right? that for you, I am so more than happy for you. It's not a so disagreement. No, so no ick. That's not icky, right? I, I don't. I can't say that it's icky. I've had an age okay. gap. Right. I'm just saying, like, if you're thinking about it, like, we're not on the same stage. That was the disagreement there, that they're not on the yeah, same stage of life because this what is a virgin mean, at 22 though? and this is a virgin at 44. Yeah. You have had 44 years of being fucking Wait, hold this on. is what it seems before, as though. Before we get into it further, I want to go around the like table the on ick. one thing. Sounds like the ick. Before Can't be the get, ick if on, I've done stop. it. Before we get into it, I want to go around the table on one thing. And also just FYI, we have boosted the TTS to 200. Thank you guys for those of you who sent some in. Just going around the table, do you object to age gap relationships? Go ahead. No. 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 No? No. No? Um, yeah, I, I don't think age gap relationships should be a thing. You think they shouldn't be a thing? You just can't grow together the same way. What? Wait, but you just said like, you're... I'm not yeah. against it. If, I'm not against like, it. I'm I don't have to be against it. <laughs> you're I'm, against age gaps. Okay, what about you? Um, no, but it, I guess it depends on, like, the age gap. I was yeah. just going to say, what do you consider? So, like, I, my age gap is nine years. Mm -hmm. The guy's older. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's like, there's very, there are. There's variations, right? There's, there's very many situations exactly. where you can have someone who grew up faster or they're more mature or, like, mm -hmm. for me, I wasn't a big partier. Like mm. I knew mm. that I wanted a family. I knew that mm. I wanted to like that. That was my goal in life, and it wasn't to go out and party on the weekends in my tw like in my twenties. Which you know, to each their own. Everybody has mm -hmm. their own thing. But it's like I knew to get what I wanted in life, I needed to look older. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was th like they just so happened to find someone who was also at that same mindset. So it's like, it's possible. Is it rare? Yeah, it's rare. But is it possible or like... I personally prefer an age gap just because, well, I look for a leader and I look exactly. for someone who can set that tone mm -hmm. and environment for me to be submissive and follow into that lead. And I tend to find it in older men versus men my age. 100%. And I feel like that's something that is talked a lot on this podcast, but like it's never mentioned. Like you have to think for every girl in her 20s that is looking for someone older, there has to be someone older that is willing to date someone younger than them. So it's okay for a girl to walk around and be like, oh, I want someone who's older than me. Mm -hmm. But then when we start to talk about a guy who wants someone younger than them, it starts to get weird mm -hmm. or like people start to feel mm -hmm. like it's weird, but you have to think there's, there's two sides to it. So it's yeah. like, yeah. we can say, oh, oh, it's fine for her to want someone older. But then when a guy's like, when a guy says that they want someone younger, we're like, oh, that's, that's like weird or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, you have to have two sides to it. There's got to be that's someone for the and, other person. And so going around the table once more, and actually, as soon as Elsa gets back, I, we went around but didn't get her answer. Uh, are you cool with age gap relationships? You yeah. fine with age gap relationships? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so going around the table, just state your age again and the oldest guy you would date. Hmm. Um, I'm 26, and um, at 22 or 23, I did date someone close to their 50s. Okay. Okay. So you would date into yeah. their 40s? Okay. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds, 47, by the way. <laughs> just saying. Okay. How um, old would you? I'm 28, and I would say the absolute most I would go is probably like 12 years mm. so 40 40 okay. yeah um i am 22 and i've dated somebody who is 36 i mean i feel like it's all about your mental capacity are you grown enough to date a grown-ass man are you grown are you young-minded enough to date a grown woman i mean a young woman mm -hmm. like yeah, that's, um, it's all that's about really weird though because I feel like you're kind of speaking out of both sides of your mouth. So you're, you exactly. go, well, you know, hang on, hang on, let me explain. <laughs> like, ah, you know, I really don't have any problem with it. But then when we go to somebody else, you go, there's no way that they're on the same plane or that they are on the same experience level or, you know, like whatever the hell that means. What does that mean? They might not be on the same level, right? But if you're young and you want to date somebody that's older, you have to be willing to 
go in and do the things that you've never done before because this man who is 40 years old is doing those things and you've never done that. You have no experience in it. So yes, if you are willing to learn and do more, then yes, you can be in an age gap, gap relationship. But it also goes the other way around. Well, I don't can, understand. What can, the hell do they need to do? They're like, they're 22 year no, old. No, there's such a know, difference. There's such a difference because at, a, at 22 on, years on, old, hang on, hang I'm on, like- Hang on, hang on. Just let you give your spiel. You gotta let me talk for a second. Calm down. Okay, that you'll get a chance to respond. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, what, what what do you think they need to do? They're, if they're if they're 21, 22, and they're dating, let's say a 35 or 37 year old man, what do you think that he wants them to do exactly? Balance his wife. checkbook. Uh, hang on, hang on. He's Balance submissive. his checkbook. What? What? Well, like, what is it specifically that you think he wants from her? He wants her to be mature and do all the things that he's expecting from a woman. That is not something that everybody knows, especially at a young age. They're expecting you to be this grown ass woman who knows how to take care of the house, take care of everything that you need to get done. They are expecting more because they have learned about more women. They have grown <laughs> and they have they have grown and learned what they want more than as a young person. They don't give a not shit. The they want to have person. sex with them. But that's not true hot. because I've done it. I've done it. That's what I'm telling you is I've done it and he's expecting. And the type of car they drive, they don't give a fuck about that shit. What do you mean? It's not true. There Maybe there are people that don't give a shit, but I've been in a situation where they you know did expect more. You want me to demonstrate more. why I know that? I can demonstrate how because I know Because you're a 50-year-old man who wants a 25-year-old woman. Their, because oh, men inside God. of their 40s like... who date women who are 35, 36 don't have any high expectation from those women either. <laughs> they don't have any high expectation from Th those women. That's what you would that think. They're gonna, hang, hang on, hang on. Right? Volume. You're good at talking, you're not good at listening. So just hang on. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay? They really don't have high expectations from women at all when it comes to this. They don't have some high expectations that she's going to be some work boss, that she's going to contribute tons to the household. They don't have any of those expectations. Why the hell would they have them to a woman at 22, 23? The only reason that I say that is because I've experienced it. Could I, there be both? Like You think that you were men? valued for your maturity and that you were valued for your insights into life? Or do you think perhaps you were valued for a different reason? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's what he expected, not what he valued, what he expected. What he what wanted from me was different than what I had to, to give because I didn't well, know did about expect? those type of things. Yeah, what did he expect? He expected me to be that girl that wakes up earlier than him, goes and cooks breakfast, and does all these things to make sure that he's good in the day, checks up on him 50 times a day, and do, and do all these things. Why wouldn't a 22-year-old have the same um, expectation? I've also woman? been in a relationship with a 22-year-old, and they like it when you're a little bit more standoffish. Uh, I've gotten wait, wait, more wait, attention. Wait, 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 I just want to make sure I get this right. You think that 22-year-old men also don't want you to wake up before them and cook them breakfast? Because I promise that they do. I didn't say that they, that they don't. I Wait. said that that's what a man that is that of, of that age is expecting that. Whereas uh, a man that is younger, he hasn't even experienced that. So he can't really say, oh, well, you're not doing this. You're not doing this. He's like, okay, well, this is what I want. Can so we you're agree? saying that because he's ignorant of what it is that, that he wants, which what? is you to cook him breakfast in, in the morning before he wakes up, that basically it's easier to exploit him than it would be as somebody who's 35 and is like, no, lady, you're going to wake up and cook me breakfast. Is that, I mean, is that really the position? That's not what I said. Can't we I mean, how, but how is it not that? I don't, <laughs> how is it not that? <laughs> Let's go to Giselle. Let's let three. Giselle talk. I feel like, can't we agree that depending on whatever gender we are, whatever age we are, there's going to be men who just want to fuck and then some who mm -hmm. want the wife material and vice versa. There's women who just want to just have sex with a 40-year-old man and there's women who want to be a wife in the, in the wife world, want to cook, want to clean, want to do, provide and be that environment for a man. Can we all agree that there's just yes. it depends on preference. A hundred percent because no, I no, think we can't. everybody <laughs> so, Damn it, Andrew, you're just like the I just can't bring and, myself to agree with this point because I just don't think it's true. Andrew, I answer don't. me. Maybe you have an Andrew, Andrew, don't you have a wife? Don't you Andrew, want to provide this. for you? Okay. Are you are you married? He is. Mm -hmm. Do you have like do you have standards for yourself? How you want your house upkept, how you want your family to be protected or Things like that. Is that not yeah. a standard for you? Yeah. Right. And it's a mutual agreement between you and your wife who has what responsibility to upkeep what, correct? Sure. 
Okay. So you don't just expect your wife to sleep with you at the end of the night. You expect your wife to uphold the standards of your household, correct? And also sleep with me, yes. Right. And both. both uh, wholeheartedly, of course. Sure. So would you not expect that other people have those standards? Yeah, but I think they're that they're going to have the same just... standards at 22 as they do at 40 when it they comes don't. to that. So I think that men... I think that men at 22 would still prefer to have their women cooking, cleaning, and upholding the standards of their households they would at 40 years old. But also at 22, so they would have just fucked. At 22, they would fuck on, anybody. Let me, let, me, let me get a word in. Hang on. There's a lot of people on the panel. Let me respond to what she's saying, okay? Or I, I swear you're going to get plenty of time to talk. So to kind of get back to this, I think that 22-year-old men still want to have their breakfast cooked, and they still want to have their chick cook and clean, and uh, they still want to have sex with their chick, just like when they're at 40. I'm just saying that I think that 40-year-old men who have a preference for younger women, honestly, mostly don't have the preference because they think, oh, you're really mature for your age. I, because they don't think women at 35 are really mature for their age. I think that they think, well, you're really hot, and I want to bang you. That's what I think. Bang you. That, right? And I think that it tends to work out pretty well. I think it honestly tends to work out pretty well. I don't think I think that women are after them for the resources. Hey, they're after them for their youth and beauty. Seems like it works out. Actually, statistically though, the age gap relationships don't work out as well. So anything above ten years starts to decline in terms of relationship satisfaction and longevity. Yeah, and most relationships don't work out. Also, let's say uh, <laughs> that's point true. That out. But the, but the of the relationships is, is that, that do mo- age you're, gaps what you're, work what out, what you're less. citing are marriage stats. You're t- st- citing marriages between these massive age gaps don't work out. That's far different than relationships, which we don't have a lot of data on, or the fact that oh hey, these uh, 40 year old or 35 year old NBA players who are banging all these 21 year old cheerleaders, they look real miserable. They look like oh man, they just they just want to check out, don't they? Boy, they look like they were having a real rough time over there, <laughs> right? I don't think they are. I think that both both parties are getting exactly what they want out of that. Right, because those NBA players also have people that cook and clean for them. So their <laughs> only money. expectation of these oh, yeah. women is that, to fuck them. Oh, yeah, yeah. You think that a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader at 22 isn't going to wake up in the morning and cook and clean for their quarterback? Yeah, fucking right. Sell me another one. They line. got somebody to do it for I'm, them. They, yeah. if, they but have some money. Usually, people have people that live in their houses that do that for them. Yeah, so but so I'd what? Imagine. But what if they? And what they're what usually they married to women who I are think closer that to their the age. The point isn't whether they do or but they, they don't. The point the is, is that I think that she would. That's my point. No, I mean I she, she probably would. would because most again, no. a, a woman who is willing to take that submissive role to a man is willing to take on those roles for that man. But you're saying that every man just has this expectation to fuck whether they're 22 or 54. That's and you're true. saying the maturity look, look, level. I know that this so is So you're baffling. saying your maturity level is yeah. the same maturity level of someone who's 20 or 22. I don't think there's ever an equal maturity level between I'm men saying, and women. Oh, no, no, no. That, I'm saying I, I'm men. I was wondering what point we were debating. At yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. I don't think that there's ever <laughs> an equal maturity level. And what I'm saying is, oh, gee, Older men like to fuck young, hot women. Wow, I'm so shocked. I'm so surprised. This is news to me. Whoa, this is mind-blowing stuff that young, hot women are, are, uh, you know, being quested after by rich, older guys who want to bang them. Like, I'm not shocked by this. Wait, did anyone actually disagree with that? I don't think we're arguing the right point or the same point. You're saying... (laughs) Okay, uh, what's your point? My point is is that you're saying the maturity (laughs) level of a 22-year-old male is the same maturity level of a... 42 year old male that's not what i said you said regardless yes you did you said said regardless of if they're 42 or 22 all they want to do is fuck no you're straw manning my argument i said that their expectations of i want my household run are going to be the exact same, I think, as a 35-year-old well, man. Well, 22-year-old men don't have a household. That's right. 22-year-old men don't they, they, have they live a household. in a dirty 22-year-old men wake like up in the morning and say, why are you here? I understand that I'm remoted <laughs> in. And so let's be for real. And tackling at the same time. I can't hear a word you're saying. So I, it has to 22-year-old men don't have a household. For a woman to upkeep. Okay, but let's assume. Well, first of all, and that's even not if true. they did, they're Maybe in this, they're telling stop, you to go. Stop, 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 stop. Well, stop since lying. we're talking, stop lying and coping. Stop lying and coping. Yes, there are 22 <laughs> men who do I have households. Yes, there are. I don't know of where course, you came up are. with the fact that there aren't, but there most certainly are. I, I was under the impression that we were generalizing. Yeah. So that's yeah, why I'm, I'm saying, generalizing. And, but in this generalization, you you used it as a monolith. You said all. You said. You said 22-year-old men don't have households. Yes, they do. And I think inside those households, which they do have, they have expectations for how it's run, just like 40-year-old men do. 
But also, a lot of 22-year-old men aren't expecting a woman to be in it all the time. Maybe different women, but not just the same woman. That's 100%. They're 22 years old. They're at their prime. They know that they can get any bitch they want. And if they wake up and you're still there, they're wondering when you're going home. Yeah, but that's the okay, difference. So that's the difference between that well, and a forty-four year old man. Listen, you're you're talking now. We are talking past each other. So if you're talking about some twenty-two year old playboy who's banging a bunch of chicks, fine. We are talking about men who are ex- dating like exclusively with women who are younger than them. But let's just say even the same age, I think that they still would prefer inside their household that their household be run and kept in certain ways. This idea that they they don't somehow because there's an age gap is bizarre to me. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. I would think that a man would expect a 22 year old woman or a 35 year old woman to do those things. And I don't see why it's outside of the capacity of either to do them. I don't, I, I honestly don't get it. I guess it just depends on preference and their maturity person. level. I think yeah. they would all prefer that, but expect it less of a younger woman. Why would they expect it less? Well, like, how hard is it to do dishes and cook breakfast? I mean, of, how old do you need of, to be? Well, because you need to be 31 years old to, to do some dishes and cook quick. breakfast? I, because, but I but according to your argument, they're filtering for hotness. So her hotness compensates for the fact that she's not willing to wash her dishes, right? She's got to put in more work than the 35-year-old who's not as hot because he's filtered for hotness. So he might might just be okay with that 44-year-old yeah, guy I, I being in a 20-year-old. there could be men... I suppose that there could be men who give more of a preference to the fact that she's more beautiful and would let things like that slide, okay, I I guess, but I still think that they have an expectation that if they're dating a younger woman, she can still do the fucking dishes, right? I I don't think that that's something that they're too concerned about. I don't think they're like, ah, you know, uh, maybe when you're 30, you can do the dishes and cook breakfast. I don't think it's the capability of doing it more so of the intention or the desire to do it. Right. Because I know that for myself, because I literally lived this at 22, when I was with someone who was 32, everybody that I was friends with was going out to the bar. They were drinking every weekend from Thursday to Sunday, whereas I was upkeeping a house not many girls my age at that time were willing to or had a desire to do that they were still living with their parents they were working a part-time job they were spending whatever money that they had out at the bars in the weekend but that's not that different than most women in their 30s right and most women in their 30s are still out partying and still living that same lifestyle so i'm not really sure that this kind of maturity argument works right this would just be kind of a case by case maybe it's just a hope and i think that we're the more that that cope hope with an H. Oh, hope. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, but I also think that you're you're arguing the point of the woman's maturity from 20 to 35, and we're talking about the male's maturity from 20 to 35. You know what I mean? So we're talking about it on the male's perspective, of like we don't think that a 20 a male in their 20s is going to have the same expectation as a male in their 40s, whereas you're saying a female in her 20s. And a female in her 30s have the same capability or willingness to do these actions. What do you think the distinction and expectation is? That's what my that's what the initial question was. I mean, a woman in her 20s. Hang on, hang on. Let her answer. Hang on. Let her answer. What do you think the distinction and expectation is between a 22 year old man, a 35 year old man dating a 22 year old woman? I just I think that a male in their 20s has less expectation of. A homemaker woman than someone in their 30s would. Someone yeah, in their like 30s. What? Like, give me specific. Children. I don't know what. Oh, you, like the, the upkeeping a house. Up, up keeping a house. So doing the laundry, doing the dishes, cooking, cleaning. You know, making sure everything is kind of. Yeah, no, I completely discount that as being kids. true at all. I think that That's a 22 year old who is in a, a long term monogamous relationship with a live-in girlfriend or a wife. Uh, is going to have the same expectations that she keeps the house up as a 40 year old. Yeah, I, just, I mean. I, but didn't you say your initial, like, motive was, like, 40-year-old men only wanted to sleep with 20-year-old men because of their looks? Because men. she's hot. <laughs> that so was like, the original what? argument. That might be, well, hang on. Why she selected for him is irrelevant, or why he selected for her is irrelevant. I think that 22-year-old men also select 22-year-old women because they're hot and they want to bang them as well. I still think that the expectation here for how they act inside of the home is very similar. I wouldn't go over to, let's say, at a 23-year-old friend's house and his wife was there. I think he would have the exact same expectation that I would for how my wife would behave. 
As far as you know, cooking and cleaning and caring for the house, why? Why would you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it's just it's 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 going to be. Yeah, it's going to be subjective on the person, and again, it goes back to maturity level. So you either have a really mature twenty-two-year-old who has this standard of an upkept house, or you have a twenty-two-year-old who's a complete bachelor and doesn't give a shit what his house looks like. A rolling right? stone, baby. So it's going to be based. <laughs> yeah, on but that isn't that person. a goalpost shift? So we're talking about pe- people who are in relationships with each other, and I, and in this case, live in relationships with each other. And I find it difficult to believe that a 22-year-old married man does not have the expectation that his wife is upkeeping the house because she's hot any more than the 40-year-old man would have that expectation because she's hot. I think they still want their house upkept either way. But a 40-year-old man who's filtering for a 20-year-old woman is not the same as a 22-year-old guy who's dating a 20-year-old woman. Aren't they both filtering for the same thing? Chick hot? Well, yeah, but the 22-year-old uh, well, yeah, man so makes then, makes more sense with a 20-year-old woman because they're in the same vicinity. They they probably go to college together. They probably they, have seen each other. In the same but a 40-year-old the other direction. You said earlier that a 40-year-old man who's rich is more likely to filter for a 20-year-old, which I'm not disagreeing with because money yeah. does give men power and leverage. Because they can get them, but I still of think course, that they're both they selecting for the same thing. They're but, both still selecting for the same thing. They're both still selecting for a hot chick, whether they're 22 or they're 42. So if they're both going to select for the same chick, what I want to hear is why it is they both selected for this chick, but do you think they have wildly different expectations for them in their home life? I That's think they what might. Yeah, I think that a 40-year-old man who makes multiple seven figures has different expectations than a 22-year-old college guy who Good. What? probably what doesn't have a job. Expectations? What for her to be what? hot and to stay hot and to not make him look dumb when he takes her out in public. I think a 22-year-old man wants it. the same thing. <laughs> I think a 22-year-old man also wants his chick to stay hot and not make him look dumb in public. Yeah, he wants that, but I don't think it goes much beyond that because he doesn't have the opportunities that a 40-year-old, I'm assuming, man who makes multiple seven figures has. They, they have different life experiences. What got that what man that to have? be where he's okay, at? Then tell me these experiences. This is what I keep asking for is these specifics. And then when we get on the specifics, you go, yeah, you're right. They do want the same thing. So I want the actual things that you think that the 40-year-old man expects of the 22-year-old, the 22-year-old man doesn't expect. I honestly don't think the 40-year-old man expects her to do dishes. He probably has someone who takes care of that. He probably wants her to be nurturing and supportive. But I don't think he necessarily, I don't think it's a deal breaker. I don't think he's going to sit her down and say, hey, if you don't do the dishes, we're going to have a serious (laughs) issue. Yeah, I, well, I disagree. I think that they will. I, I also think that, so I think that if you're in a long-term monogamous relationship, to live in a situation with a girlfriend at 22 yeah. and she won't do the dishes, I think he'll be like, this chick got took on a date where she was folding laundry. I mean, what do you mean? Yes, they have the expectation their dishes are done. I think they do. Yes. Um, I think you would have to demonstrate Grid somehow that they do donated $200. My wife is 11 years younger than I am. Married 19 years. Maybe the problem is not with the man, but with you. Oh, great. You seem right. very disagreeable. Might want to work on that. Oh, I mean, okay. Okay. there's the, another the, one the coming in. The disagreeableness is the fun part right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, our, our TTS was down there. Grid one, I apologize that they didn't come in instantly. The TTS was messed up. My bad, man. Grid one motorsports donated $200. Oh, My wife is 11 years younger than me, been married 19 years. Feminist dating coach, you should refund your clients. Hmm. And also, let me just get through a couple. Okay, so uh, there were two 69s that didn't come through, so I'll just read them. David Trejiak, stream looks much better. Off to sushi sushi and pool, interesting times. Best of the whole panel, stay cool and keep calm. By the way, not sure if my comments come through. I'll just reading it there for you, David. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh. Oh, Okay, y'all are delusional. Name one guy whose expectation is... She needs to make money. Pro tip: I've never heard of a single one. Bro, this came through that? about 15 minutes ago. No one said that. Yeah, Literally, no one said true. that. We Come that. on, get boobed. Yeah, but I, also, I know, that's not I true. Know. You know the how many guys want to be you... pimps nowadays? This this is kind <laughs> of what's being alluded to, though. I <laughs> kind of agree with get boobed here. I... So what's being what's being alluded to is that the expectation that a 22 year old husband has or a long term boyfriend has, if they're in a living situation with their girl, is that. She, he doesn't want her to do the. He doesn't have the expectation going to do the dishes. The forty-year-old has the expectation going to do the dishes. So what is the? What are the twenty-two-year-old men's expectation of? Their Let women? me tell what? you because I'm actually dating a twenty-two-year-old and I am twenty-six and I have also dated an older man. With the older man, I was not expected to do dishes. He took care of everything and I was just expected to be happy, pretty, hot, 
and be a good arm candy. With my he 20- did. He he did your dishes. No, he did. He did it. Um. So and then he my did 20- your dishes. Yes. So, so my simp? my twenty two year old boyfriend, current, he does uh-huh. the dishes. I do the laundry, oh. and. Simps. Okay. Go ahead, continue, continue, go ahead. I mean, no. it just sounds. So Maybe it's also a generational you. gap. Hold on, let her finish, go ahead. And so it's just like, and then I also dated a 34-year-old man to answer the TTS who expected me, and I was actually the breadwinner for two years and supported the entire relationship. So different men of different ages do have different expectations. But no, that sounds like it's anecdotal only in that you had experiences with these men and they had different expectations individually. That doesn't mean as a whole that 22-year-old men with living wives and girlfriends don't expect them to do the dishes. That's just ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous. If you don't mind, where are you getting your data from? You? I'm sorry. Um, I'm curious. So when you're, when you're saying data, you made the claim did I make the claim or did you make the you claim? Ma- you're making the claim that the 22-year-old and the 40-year-old have the same expectations. I'm just curious no, where that's No, what I said from. to you specifically was this. If it is true that they have different expectations, what is the distinction in the expectations they have? You said doing the dishes. You don't expect that the 22-year-old would have the expectation that the dishes are done the 40-year-old would. That is a you claim for you to demonstrate. I can't prove a negative. What? What? I don't, we're not, I don't, I still don't believe you keep referring to live in wife long term. And I don't think that's where the initial conversation was being had. It was just the general expectation in that age range. So think of someone in their 40s, the generation that they grew up in, they saw their parents, the mother was the homemaker and the father was the provider. So, in that generation that expectation again is that the woman cooks cleans takes care of the children etc someone who's currently in their 20s sees this dynamic of both people are equal right because that's how kind of the world is right now whether that's what you agree with or not that's just kind of you know how everybody is nowadays so also someone in their 20s is most more than likely in college living in a dorm room does not have a household to upkeep and that's just you know in the grand scheme of it i'm not saying everybody in their 20s doesn't have a house so if you're thinking about it in that sense someone who is in their 40s generationally would expect the person that they're dating regardless of age to uphold a house someone in their 20s who is in college partying every weekend is not thinking about whether their laundry is getting done they're thinking about fucking yeah but i don't understand why that wouldn't be true regardless of the age so, so the 40 year old's probably going to expect to get fucked too that's the hang on hang on let me ask the question like i can't can i at least ask the question so i i don't actually understand why that would that would have anything to do with the age gap so you're saying and let me make sure i steel man this so i get it right you're saying that women in their 20s are often party girls and so men who approach party girls in their 20s don't have that expectation is that basically what you're saying i'm talking about am i getting this way off no you're okay then what are you saying rephrase it in a way that maybe i'll understand it better i don't know i'm talking about the men in the scenario a man Mm -hmm. in their 40s Generally, mm-hmm. generationally is going to expect a woman to upkeep a house because that's what in their at their age probably they have a house to maintain and they have yeah. they're at the point in their life Axa Bullet donated $200 I am a 37 years old male dated a woman for 3 years she was 38 in 3 years I was the only one cooking slash cleaning dishes laundry Last week, I kicked her out for failing to meet expectations. Andrew is right. I'm literally saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 are you saying the same thing? I want to make sure that we that I do understand exactly what yeah. you're saying here. Yeah, Axo so, Bullet is 37 say, years are, old. Yeah, so go ahead. One go ahead. year of a gap. Axo Bullet is 37 years old. He said that mm-hmm. he kicked his significant other out of the house because she was not cooking, cleaning, and doing the laundry, regardless of her together. age. Because they were living together. Right. And, and this my is the point part was, that I don't get. So my thing is, is someone in their 20s mm-hmm. is not, is more than likely not prioritizing keeping up a household, 
right? In their 20s, they're probably in college, they probably live in a dorm room, and they're out partying. Well, then so they're not they're living pri- together. Well, then your, your comparison we is not talking. analogous. Here. Okay, but, but as we were a, never <laughs> talking about that. We were just yeah, talking but, about but someone in their 40s dating a, someone in their 20s. This is the 20. problem, right? If you're this is a no conversation because I don't you're, think no, we're even arguing the same point. No, it's not a no conversation. The, it's just that you're making a really bad comparison. If right? you're in your 40s, you're probably looking for somebody to date and live in the house with you. I'm not sure why. If you're in your 20s, you're not looking for that. You're just filibustering. Right. Let us finish our uh, conversation here. Relax. Let us finish our conversation. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can mock, but I mean, she was nice enough to let you finish. So anyway, back to this. The reason that this is not analogous is because if I bake into a hypothetical, the same thing. Oh, these two 40 year old people don't have a house and aren't living together. I think the expectations wildly different again. So I don't I don't understand how you're making the comparison of, okay, well, these people are living in a dorm, so therefore the expectation is different. Well, of course it's different, right? But if he was living in a dorm at 35, it would be different too. No, no one lives in a dorm, in a dorm, at, dorm 35 at 35. In college at 35. Okay, okay, well, but do you understand the point of the logic? You're wrong. So the only, <laughs> the saying, only reason... Listen, it wouldn't matter <laughs> if it's impossible for a 35-year-old to live in a dorm. The logic is if they did the expectation would be different. The only reason I'm saying that the conversation is now null is because your initial statement was is that a male in his 40s and a male in his 20s, the only thing that they expect from a woman is to fuck. And I'm saying... No, that's not what I, I said. Yes, that yes, is 100% is. what you said. No, no, it's not what there, I said. I said so that, re- their, what you said their expect, I said that their expectations is to are fuck. going to be similar when it comes to the selection of hotness. That's what I said. Mm, is it? Not that the only thing they want to do is have sex. That's not what I said. Literally. Lone Star donated $200. Andrew is talking about the framework in the selection for a relationship. Panel is hung up on the change in preferences over time. It is a bit of a sophist waste to say but things change. Hey, Lone Star, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Really quick, so we were going around the table on what's your age and what's the oldest guy you would date. We got to you, we got interrupted. Juan, we have you answer the question. I think you answered the question, correct? You didn't answer, go ahead. I've only dated my age, but I think the oldest I would go is seven years older than me. Okay, and so you're? 32, so that would be 39. Okay, what about you? Um, you're... I would say 24. So you're 18, yeah. max 24, what about you? Um, I'm 23. I guess the oldest I would go is anything below 30. Okay, because you did say you are against age gap relationships. I am, I I am. I'll get into that in just a moment. John Zunders Cormith donated $200. (laughs) Out of line? More like out of line. Boom. Boom. Nailed it. Yo, John, thank you for the TTS. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, So you're against... Uh, actually, let me just get everyone's answers. Go ahead. Uh, 23, my max is from 5 to 7 years. Okay. 19, I would say max, like 10 years. Okay, so you said, sorry, you said 23 max would be what? Um, I guess 29? 29, 28. Okay, and you said you're against age gap relationships. Yes. Why? Um, I just, I see a lot of people that date, like, you know, 20-year-olds dating 40-year-olds, 20-year-olds dating, you know, 40 and above, and I don't know, that just... That's like my dad's age, so that kind of gives me a very creepy vibe, a very ick vibe. Why is it creepy? Just because I think, like, like let's say if my dad ever divorced my mom and he ended up dating someone younger, like, I, I just, it would make me very uncomfortable. Why? So I just think it's a very, I don't even know how to explain that. It's, it's, um... Like, oh, now you're dating my friend? Sorry? Like, now you're dating my friend? Like... We went to high school together, and you're dating her, but you That's had That's a great me. example. That was, yeah. <laughs> Does it fall into, like, religion? What? Well. Well, mm-hmm. it could. Yeah. In what term? How like, would that? What do you mean? I'm not sure how that makes, follows at all, but okay. Well, I mean, like, you know, if, an, if you think about it like an older man, they have more experience, and, like, if you are more, like, in the religion-wise, wouldn't you want someone to be in the same field or no i think just because you're older that doesn't make you more experienced or smarter or anything mm-hmm. that um like that okay I okay see that. <laughs> uh so i'm just 
I've really not really heard any compelling arguments as to why it's wrong or creepy. Because I don't think anyone said that. Mm -mm. She literally said it's creepy. Mm. It does creep me and out. And then actually, you co-signed when you said, well, what if we, like, she could have also, at the time I was in high school, she could have also been in high school, even though we're talking about adult I didn't say it was creepy. I just said that that's a little bit weird. Like, okay. okay weird, creepy. Well, no, no, because you could do that. Because there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I want to date older men. So I sure. can't be mad at you for wanting to date a 40-year-old guy. Just why is it my dad? Like, you feel me? Okay, that's another that, conversation. Exactly, that's a different that's conversation. That's why. Okay. That's what Let's I was saying. Let's hear a bit more from you on this. Go ahead. Um. Yeah, I guess I just, I personally mean I'm not comfortable with that. I would like someone within my own age range, somebody that um, I guess I could relate to a little more. And I don't know. Okay. It's just my preference. You'd, you'd want someone you can relate to. Well, no, I, that doesn't. I guess I could relate to somebody a little bit older, but I don't think just because, I don't know. I personally would be pretty creeped out. I, I don't think my family, my parents would be okay with that as well. Mm -hmm. And that's very important to me. Would you date Ryan Reynolds? No, I would not. I don't care if he's Fort America's sweetheart or whatever. <laughs> 47. No. <laughs> Why do you keep bringing him up? You yeah, like Ryan Reynolds? I feel like a lot of girls. Ryan Reynolds. Likes Ryan Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. I think a lot of girls think <laughs> yeah. that he's got a good personality, funny, charming, successful, uh, in good shape, status, celebrity, A-list movie star. I don't know. I think a lot of Henry Henry Cavill, Cavill or whatever mm. the fuck. He's Ooh. also kind of Superman. Superman. Mm. Yeah. So okay, it's creepy. It's weird. Okay. I mean, it goes back to being subjective, right? Everyone right. has Everyone's their personal opinion. preferences. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has their thing, their kinks, their whatever. So it's like, if it's for you, it's okay. for you. If it's not, well, so it's there's, not. There's, there's a couple angles here. So there's, there's, of course, how women feel about it. And then there's different criticisms. There's like, well, it's weird. But then there's also, well, older men should date women their own age. That's another argument I sometimes hear. I've yet to actually hear a compelling argument in term of in terms of the benefits to the man, why he should date a 35-year-old woman over a 25-year-old woman who's almost surely going to be more physically attractive. Because is it just about attraction? Yes. I mean, okay, well, That's then why I have nothing people. to say. That's why you date people, because you're attracted mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. I've dated an ugly person, but they were good. You're they attracted to them in <laughs> some capacity. Yeah, so you could be attracted to a 35-year-old woman because she she's nice. She does everything that you ever expected a woman to do for you. She Okay, so she's here, hot still else, and she's 35. So sure. Yes, you can still be attractive at 35. That's not the argument I'm making. What I'm making is is that I've yet to hear an actual compelling argument in terms of the actual tangible articulable benefits to the man for dating a 35-year-old woman versus a 25-year-old woman. I don't think there is a benefit. I mean, if you put mm. them side by side, if you put a 25-year-old woman and a 35-year-old woman and they have the exact same characteristics, mature, not take mature off because no one cares about that apparently, mm -hmm. but beautiful, kind, passionate about something, like actually has a purpose in her life other than him. If you put them side by side and he had to choose, definitely the 25-year-old. Why not? Mm. But I think that if you're filtering for that, everything else aside that's what i was saying earlier is Filtering a little bit for what? like if you're if you don't even if we're just type talking hypothetically like i just want a 20 year old but but i mean if you see a hot 30 year old like are you going to say sorry no because you're actually 30 so i'm going to i'm going to pass on this one if everything else is there but if again if you put them side by side and they're exactly the same that's like saying for a woman if you had two men side by side he's kind he's loyal to you he's funny he continues to court you One's a millionaire, one is broke. Who would you choose? It's obvious. Everyone's gonna choose the guy who can take care of her also financially. So yeah, I don't think anyone's making a compelling argument because it's not compelling. So the 25 year old is more attractive. So I don't think these men that would be inclined to date a 20 year old woman and they're in their 30s or whatever, I don't think they would necessarily be opposed to dating a, an attractive woman who met their standards who's uh, 30, for example. I think we're more so talking about the general, uh, a more general point of view here where men have a tendency to also find women who are in their early 20s attractive and might yeah, prefer awesome. them 
uh, over in terms of finding them physically attractive over women in their 30s. Which is fair because they're right. at their peak. But also, I think it's a little bit easier to shape a woman that hasn't been through as much as a 35 year old woman. Like if you're. Yeah, so she's got a bunch of. You're talking about baggage? Yeah. yeah you can say, yeah. oh, I don't like this and I want you to do it this way. And depending on how you treat her, she'll do it differently in, in comparison to a 35 woman who's been with a man that's like that and it didn't work out for her. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Like, a girl who hasn't been through that is easier to shape than a woman that's already been through so that. So, like, a woman who's submissive, essentially. Younger mm. women are more capable of being submissive. Not necessarily, because there are a lot of independent, strong-headed women. Sure. Yeah, but, a lot of, yeah. But there is a bigger possibility that you could get a woman that you could make do what you want to do at a younger age than if they were older and mature and they've already been through a situation like that. Just like how you would count it with bodies. You say, oh, that kind of brings, that kind of brings down. Maddie, could you read it? Dating coach my arse. At 35, all the women in my dating pool were broken as blank. I dated younger because their value, not just <sighs> looks you ninny, was much higher, less baggage, not as broken. So is, is he saying huh? that the 20-year-olds were had more money than the 35-year-olds? Is that what they are more hustlers. No, no, oh, broken. Broken. Oh, broken, broken. They're, they're not just beautiful, gotcha. but they also have less gotcha, baggage. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Less baggage, yep. I think I brought that up. Same with body <laughs> So it's funny because, in, and this is just being devil's advocate here, because I agree with what you're saying. Obviously, when comparing a 20-year-old and a 30-year-old, especially if they're looking for children and a family and longevity, they're going to pick the 20-year-old over the 30-year-old. That's simple. But it's funny because men look at older women as having baggage and more to them, but women look at older men as have being had more experiences. So it's like what men look for in women is completely different than what women look for in men. So like mm. when a woman is looking for an older man, she's looking for something, someone that has experience, someone that has or is able to provide security and safety for them, whereas a man is looking for different things. So it's just clear that we look for different qualities in the opposite well, sex. Well, I, th I think part of that has to do, like, when men go through difficult things in life, whether it be relationship-wise or they go through some sort of trials, tribulations, it tends to make them more masculine. So, oh, 100%. They become stronger, they become tougher. And when, when become women become stronger and tougher and they've been through more things, they become more masculine too. Mm -hmm. Unless so when you go through more like potentially uh, traumatic things, 100%. you you become, well, I mean, it can break people too, but you become stronger, right. more masculine, whatever. So, but- And women seem to be more prone to internalize trauma long-term than men do as well. Mm. So they hold on to these kind of trauma-filled events much more than men seem to. Mm -hmm. And so when you're looking at it from that aspect, I think that that is even the distinction that we would make between the masculine and the feminine in the case of trauma, is that men are able to shrug it off seemingly a bit easier than women are. It's true. Mm -hmm. You have thoughts on this? I don't know. I, I don't think that... I don't agree with that. I think men... Well, I don't know. I mean, I th think it's different with each man, but I think they just don't show it as much as women. Either talk about it or show it. It still affects them the same. Also in a different generation, if we've noticed. Uh, if, if I could be completely honest, younger men have became more soft than what you would have expected a man to be in a different generation. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because So you have to feminized. think like a man 10 years <laughs> older than Morgan is 28, a man 10 years older than me is 38. So they're, they grew up, I would say, in completely, completely different generations different. and they're going to act completely different. Yeah. So that's it's super interesting to get your point of view because a, a man 10 years older than me that I'm going to go after is going to be completely yeah. different than... Mm -hmm. I'm not going after a guy my age because of the way he is, and you're essentially going after a guy my age. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? So it's Wait, just like I, I got a question. I don't. I don't actually think that men in your age group, even at 18, internalize trauma the same way that women do. They don't seem to be on the same amount of antidepressants even at your age. They don't seem to have they the, won't go get uh, help. the same amount of, of yeah. cope when it comes to trauma. Even at 18, 19, 20, that's not what uh, what the data is bearing out. Right. They don't seem to uh, internalize trauma even then the same way. I definitely do think that men and women handle it differently, but I also think generationally 
it's handled slightly different as well, very minimal, but I would say I'm a, I'm 100% agreeing with you that women internalize it differently than men, but I yeah. also think that men nowadays are more emotional than men. Well, do you think that they're um, more that they're more emotional yeah. or do you think or do you think they want to be more emotional or do you think that they're told that kind of this feminized expectation of no, it is okay to share your emotions, which is always a bad idea for men to do. <laughs> um, don't you think that that's a kind of um, a feminized outlook where the kind of uh, feminists are pushing that 100%. men get more in touch with their feminist side, even though they themselves seem to hate when they actually do? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. if you think about it, like think of like my father and my grandfather it's like a boy cries and it's like toughen up but nowadays it's like they get upset and it's like no honey it's okay to cry so it's again that's generational like Wait, nowadays you, you have thoughts on this go ahead um i just think that i don't think men are i mean obviously like a man crying they're like oh that's like some men are going to be like that's like you're a child like you're acting like a child but or whatever i don't think that is a bad thing like i don't think that's a bad thing to show your emotions i think that shows that you're emotionally available oh yeah sure sure. so when the firefighter shows up to put out the fire you want him to cry or you want there's no reason to cry he's done saving everyone yeah if he if he yeah (laughs) if he's crying because somebody got hurt and he couldn't save them that's different than if you're just crying because it's a fire (laughs) right but you're talking about emotional stability versus not the reason that men are told not to cry and the reason that they're told not to share their feelings and make themselves overly emotionally available to women, especially by other men, is because they have to act under conditions which are highly stressful and highly emotional. And they need to be able to control that, whereas women generally do not. Women aren't the ones who are going to run in the building and pull men out, even if they see a baby who's on fire. And if they, Um. no, no, don't look at me skeptically, they're not. There's no women firefighters are going to pull out 250 pound men. It's not going to happen ever it doesn't happen almost what? anywhere so and why are women being drafted bizarre rare flu but what? anyway <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, so so this aside uh, yeah they're they're told to control their emotions because of that because if they're in a situation which is highly stressful they can't collapse under that weight yeah i think there's situations where you shouldn't be you can control your emotions but that doesn't mean that they can't express their emotions in other situations yeah, perhaps they can, right? But the more that you train a person to become too emotionally expressive, to break down their kind of stoic frame, if you will, the more likely that there are to do that, even under situations which are highly stressful. So if you're a person who controls your Grid emotions in and outside of stressful situations, you're less prone to act on them. The only <laughs> reason a man should cry is if there is smoke in his eyes. Women have feminized men and now hate the men they have created. Do better. The patriarchy is here to help. Repent your feminist ways. He's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. Yeah, thank you, good one. Appreciate it. Wait, so you guys yeah, think... So just, uh, just to finish it off just very quickly, what I was saying um, is that the more that you break your frame, or let's just call it a stoic frame. That's not really accurate, but I think it's accurate enough. The more that you break that, the more...